800-348-1007 or 800-348-1007. If you want to join live, 35192. Want to send me a text and alancockshow.com. You can email us, hit us up on social, whatever. The Alan Cox Show Instagram hotties are there for you as well. And if you need a little bit of time to yourself. Mary made a very funny video that you can watch at alancockshow.com. Oh, yeah? Yes, yeah. I did. Uh, I did. Uh, Indians fans celebrating opening day in quarantine. Is this something I can air? You can air up until like probably the last t- 10 seconds of it. Is it something I should? You know what? Go to alancockshow.com. Yeah. It's, I was going to say, There's it's, a lot of visual. it's yeah, mostly visual. visual there you but go. Uh, mm-hmm. it's really fun. And I, it took me a long time this morning. So if you guys want to go to alancockshow.com and view that and share it, it's on my Instagram, Mary Santora Comedy, Twitter. It's everywhere. But um, Is it a I, lot of ass shaking or what is no, it? No, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. A lot of poop. Mostly poop. <laughs> It's mostly poop. I oh, literally spent my whole morning making it. Though. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys go check it out and, and listen to what you funny. think. Yeah. That's so much poop. Indeed. All right. Listen, if you listen to the show outside of Ohio on iHeartRadio, tell me where you do that. Uh, James is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Tyler's in Bloomingdale, New Jersey. Brian's in Memphis. Scott is in the Sag Nasty. Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, Johnny listens in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We love Puerto Rico, don't we? Puerto. I texted our friend yesterday to make sure he got out of there. Did he? Puerto yeah, he did. Rico. We love Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto fittest Rico. president ever. How do you think he um, got out of there? He was able to find a flight. Oh, okay. I didn't know if they were still canceling flights. Well, there was a lot of flights that were canceled, but he found one that I keep got forgetting. Him home. That Puerto Rico is a part of the. He was US. in St. Thomas. Oh, oh, that's the same. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. not Puerto Islands, Rico. Though. No, 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 no. Yeah, wait, St. Thomas. Where's St. Thomas? That's farther away than Puerto Islands. Rico. Oh, is it still yeah. U.S. territory though? Okay. Because I'm just saying, people who are out of the country can't get into the country. So is St. Thomas I mean, American or British? I think that's I don't American. know because there's be there's British I think it's U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, because I've only been to the British Virgin Islands. I've I don't never know. been to the U.S. Virgin Islands. I've never been to any Virgin Islands. I've been to I also heard from Jay, who is normally doing the cafe downstairs here yeah. in the building. But he's going to be a temporary bureau chief in Bellevue, PA. He's out doing some work there. Bellevue is uh, it's right on the mighty Ohio River. It's about uh, 10 minutes uh, outside downtown Pittsburgh. So he's out there working hard and um, doing what you got to do to Doing make what you got to do. Listen, out of all of the victims of the COVID-19, I can't believe that no one's discussing the biggest victim of all. Fans of the McDonald's all-day breakfast menu, which has been suspended. They're not going to be doing all-day breakfast. They're not doing salads. When will it end? Because, (laughs) oh, for when life returns to normal, they're suspending their all-day breakfast menu to strict because they're doing drive-thru. I don't get this. Since Mm. they're strictly doing drive-thru... Probably just too much. They're not going to. Is it? It might be. I mean, to maintain breakfast and uh, with the limited employees, you a lot of people are doing limited menus, so they're only offering certain items. Well, if you are one of those people that loved an egg McMuffin for lunch or a McGriddle for dinner, (laughs) uh, they're suspending all day breakfast, and they won't be doing salads either. On National Spinach Day? Today's National Spinach Day. National Spinach No salads on National Spinach Day. I love I love spinach. Now you know, after National Spinach Day, of course that means tomorrow is National E. coli Day. So no. something to look forward to. But as the victims continue to pile up, you can add the McDonald's all day breakfast to that one. You willing to make that sacrifice? Republicans <laughs> it's one thing to kill our grandmas, but we lose all day breakfast, which we fought for for like 25, 30 years to finally get McDonald's to serve breakfast all day. And then this virus comes to town and it's gone and you act like it was a hoax. How dare you? I'll tell you what. Decades of progress. Wiped out. Gone. Wiped wasted. out. Wasted. Well, that wasted. The fight was still uh, uh, the fight was still a good one. But boy, Bill's right. Decades. Decades. People were like, I mean, the week after Ray Kroc started doing stuff at McDonald's, he didn't even have breakfast items yet. Right? Just hamburgers, some fries, a couple of shakes, and then they broke off into breakfast stuff. A week later, somebody said, hey, you know, it would be great if I could get one of them flapjacks. 
in the afternoon. No, no, no. No, what are you? No, they didn't. Stop Crazy. Doing, I think they started doing breakfast all day. Like what? Like ten years ago? No, yes. it's oh t- all day. Yeah. 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 Like all like they maybe they've been doing breakfast that. for a long, yeah maybe less. I want to say it's about ten years, maybe seven years ago. So it was pretty recent that they were doing it all day, and it was a big deal when they finally started doing it. And now it's gone. But that's what I mean. This virus decades, does not care who decades it kills. of no decades of fighting for breakfast all mm-hmm. day. Finally, you know, the arc of history is long, but it bends toward justice. Bill, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That was the famous Martin Luther King speech on Peyronie's disease, if you recall. It was the I have a dream and a curve in my knob speech. Peen. Very, I have a peen. I have a dream and a curve in my peen. There you go. Who could forget that? Chicago, my hometown, is the first city to use hotel rooms for COVID-19 patients as they are quickly reaching their capacity at area hospitals. Chicago is renting thousands of rooms. Oh, my God. Whether or not they're doing that in Trump Tower, I don't know. It's not a hotel in Chicago. It's a luxury condo building, of course. To the best of my knowledge, he has not offered any of those to be used for free. Chicago is renting uh, tons of hotel rooms so they can keep COVID-19 patients in isolation. Chicago is not screwing around, by the way. I'm in pretty regular contact with my family just to see how everyone's doing. My parents, as of last week, finally came around to the fact that this is a pretty big deal. <laughs> right? What did it take? Better. Well, I think it just took time looking around yeah. and, you know, man cannot live on Rush Limbaugh alone. And so um, I was texting with my mom and my dad, and how's everything doing, and are you guys feeling okay? Uh, You know, my dad is currently in remission, but he was sick for a long time, and so I think primarily of him, he's 75. He's the person that I worry about. You know, my mom is 70, but she's in very good health. But again, that can be deceptive, too. There's so nurses I, and stuff that are dying. Oh, God. I was reading about medical professionals who are getting evicted from their apartments because their old landlord is freaking out that they don't want to get sick. Oh, my God. Like a nurse in Seattle goes, I, there was a, a note on my door said you have 48 hours to get out of your apartment. There you go. That's the Joker speech right there. Sucks. They'll be as good as the society lets them be. Mm. So I've been in pretty regular contact with my parents, um, my siblings who are all kind of business as usual you know i haven't seen my older kids in a while because nobody's moving around nobody's going anywhere nobody's doing anything Uh, but chicago is is um they're not screwing around so they're the first big city to do something like this uh spending city funds uh to rent uh thousands of rooms i saw that the, the the newly installed mayor of chicago who is actually from Maslin. Her name's Lori Lightfoot. She's a black lesbian, uh, which is neither here nor there. It just, you know, makes for a cool campaign poster. She's (laughs) she's a Maslin native, but she's the the newly uh, elected mayor of Chicago. She's not screwing around. She's like, I will arrest people, or she's giving the Chicago PD uh, the authority to arrest people who are just outside. Oh, wow. Running around. There's she's like you could law. be if you if you could be if you're running through the park you know uh, they're really trying to hammer the shelter in place order so they're like citations could be issued theoretically yeah mm-hmm. to people who are running through the park jogging downtown my friend lives in Minneapolis and she said their uh, shelter in place is going into place on Friday for two weeks. And she has been dating this guy for less than two months, six weeks, and they're going to quarantine together for two weeks. Ooh, can they film it? Can we all watch? Doesn't that seem right? I was like, are you sure? Is this a you- Netflix show? I know, right? I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And she's like, I'm crazy about him. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, dude, you, I was like, I mean, I'm happy for you. It seems like the relationship is good. I was like, but you're going to know real quick. They've been dating for like six weeks and they're about to spend the next two weeks locked up together. It's like Sam and Taylor. Hey. Yeah, but that's different. They at least knew each other before. <laughs> yeah. This is like, they have been, they met on Tinder. Like, she's really crazy but about it. But what better way, maybe that will carry them through whatever. I what, was like, 
she's like, well, I can always leave. And I don't know how strict theirs is. I was like, well, if you're going to quarantine yourself with him, why wouldn't you just go visit? If you can leave, you know, to go home, like you're not going to get stopped when you're driving. She's like, oh, we're just going to see how it goes. I don't know. I think it's a really good yeah, idea. Yeah, they could. Really they can, I mean, hey, they can leave. You can yeah. fast track that relationship. You can like three days in, you go, oh, this isn't working. That's what I said. I was done. like, dude, I was like, just be prepared that you're going to find out some things you might not like mm-hmm. very soon in this relationship. What a, dating just six the way, weeks. like, just the sitting around stuff that you do when you're by yourself mm-hmm. that they're going to see, like you, picking your nails or. Just kind of scratching weird or chewing loud or stuff like that. Yeah. Singing to yourself. That stuff becomes grating when yeah. you're in these situations. Yeah. So I, I I, don't know. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do that if I'd been with someone for a few months. I'm like, I don't live with you. You wouldn't. But some people would. Some people want to. She's very, uh, not boy crazy, but she likes the idea of a relationship a lot. Sounds like it. Let's see how well that works out for her. Yeah. Um, but maybe she'll <laughs> make it work. You know what I mean? Some people, they want their relationship to be tempered by fire. I guess. Mm-hmm. Forged in fire. Boy crazy feminist, by the way. She is a boy crazy <laughs> feminist, which yeah. is a, a phrase I never thought I'd say. But a boy, cr- you could probably be a boy crazy feminist. Yeah, doesn't mean that you're giving up your agency or your belief right. that women should. Right? She's a, but she's just very. It sounds counterintuitive, but yeah, yeah, why not? You said Sam and Taylor. Who is that? Who's that? Taylor Tomlinson and Sam Morrow. And Sam. Oh, Morrow. okay. Yeah. I was like, what? did I miss something? No, no, no. no. They're yeah, doing they're those in... new couple in quarantine, but I'm like, dude, yeah. that's about to be your life, man. But that's going to be... But I want the real stuff. I don't want... They're doing funny sketches. They're doing bits. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to see the real stuff. And that's the other thing. I'm like, unless she's different with everyone on the planet than she is in a relationship, I'm like, she's kind of a stubborn <laughs> jerk. <laughs> like, <laughs> and yeah. she's kind of... She can be hard to get along with in general as a friend. And I'm like, dude, this is not a good idea. But those, like, but that was in the best of times. A lot of people now are going to learn some things about themselves. Hopefully yeah. for the better. Yeah. You know, when you have to live with someone... You You, don't have to, though. No, she doesn't. But I'm just saying a lot of people who, you know, you have married people who aren't used to being with each other 100% of the time. And I know there are a lot of people who are working from home. Yeah, that poor lady that called the other day that was just... She just wanted to get her husband. Yeah, her husband was just driving her crazy because he won't shut up. Yeah. Who was that? She called on the after hours line. From a closet, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that yeah. poor, poor woman. Oh, I couldn't I do imagine feel for being her. stuck in a situation like that. No. Hey guys, it's Gwen. <laughs> I was just calling to commiserate because you guys are really the only other people Alan talks to. But being stuck at home with this man, I think I'm going to lose it. Okay, we don't have to hear the whole thing, Bill. <laughs> We don't have to relive the whole thing, all right? <laughs> Boy, if you don't think I went home and gave her a full dose of the stink eye, oh. Oh, 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 you're crazy. Right after I was done giving her hugs and smooches like I do when I get home. Boy, I gave her the what fur. And good for her for knowing the number, though. <laughs> Yeah, right. Saved in her People phone. hit me up all the time. What's the after hours number? I'm like, I don't know. Listen to the show, man. Yeah. 216-986-8903. For everyone besides my wife, <laughs> take it up with me. Listen, don't F with Southside Bonnie. I'm keeping this in Chicago for a second. Uh, I come from a North Side family. That's why I'm a White Sox fan. Out of spite. But Southside... What's that bias? I'm sorry? To... <laughs> I don't know. Out of spite bias? Yeah. No, it's the <laughs> spite store. <laughs> it's uh, I forget. What don't it tell is. me what to do, bias. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I didn't even want to do it till you told me I couldn't. Mm-hmm. Right? Nobody in my family told me I couldn't be a White Sox fan. It's just they were all diehard Cubs fans. So as a young man looking to rebel, easiest way to do that is to choose another team. Mm -hmm. That's how lame our world is. You can just choose another team, and that will... Anyway. Um, Reactants. But but Reactants. There you go. But Southside Bonnie is going viral. This is a woman who is 70-something, and she'll do selfie videos from her car from time to time. She's got a YouTube channel. And she was... I don't know if this is a recent development or if she's been doing it for a while, but she's going viral because of an altercation that she had with a woman... In a local grocery store. Went to Mariano's today, minding my own business. Mariano's is like the. Is that the one you can get drunk in? 
I don't it's know. Like a, it used to be, when I was growing up, it was called Dominic's. That was the huge local chain, and then they got bought out some years ago. So Mariano's is like giant eagle around Cleveland, you know, or, or what, what's a Cleveland chain? Yeah, giant Dave's eagle. or, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. No. Huh? No, a grocery, grocery store. store. Oh, grocery Bill. Store. Mm-hmm. I went to Mariano's today, minding my own business, and there were these women in line, and I had a cart, and I asked to excuse me, and because she was standing so close to everybody, I did this. She proceeded covers her face mm. is the motion she makes. Proceeded to yell at me and tell me I was crazy. Uh, what was wrong with me? This is not a pandemic. This is a political hoax. And of course, she got my South Side Polish dander up, which I should have just kept on walking. And I said, "Well, if you're not afraid, then why don't you uh, volunteer and go to China and take care of people?" Well, oh, God damn it! Why don't you? bitch and i said well i would except i have no money well at that point i had to walk away because i thought about my daughter working at hospitals trying to save lives with this pandemic and i thought you know this woman has no idea that i'm almost 75 but i'm from chicago and i will gladly tap her on the shoulder and ask her to step outside and proceed to kick her bleach blonde 50 year old ass that's all I got to say. There you go. There's <laughs> Southside yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie, who like uh, not taking any shrimp from anybody. Bleach blonde ass. I like it. Speaking of Southside uh, Chicago, our friend Kathy Griffin is in a COVID-19 uh, isolation unit. Uh, she is very, very sick. I feel terrible for her. Her mom just passed on St. Patrick's Day. She did? Her mom passed on oh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. Oh, so that she, sucks. It's a double whammy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear anything about yeah. that. She put, a, she put a post up on Instagram. It was wow. saying, like, of course my mom would go on St. Patrick's Day. She was already having signs. Of, well, it wasn't even signs of dementia. I didn't she see had anything about that. While. Yeah, her mom just passed, and now this. They're super mm. tight. Um, I was sent to the COVID-19 isolation ward room. Uh, from unbearably painful symptoms, the hospital couldn't test me because of Mike Pence task force restrictions, is what she says. Yeah, because there are certain age limits, to, there, there's certain requirements that you have to yeah. fall under before they'll even test you. So the cases that are reported nationwide are still incredibly low. Yep. So Kathy Griffin is having a tough time there in the hospital. I didn't hear anything about her mom. Yeah, it's on, it was on her Instagram. It was really sad. Huh. Yeah, it sucks. You ever heard of a guy named... Uh, this story blew me away. I think it's funny that Trump has people in his cabinet that are like, um, oh, this is his spiritual advisor. I mean, he's clearly pandering to the rubes, but he couldn't give a rat's ass about any of that stuff. But he's got some Bible teacher in his inner circle. This guy, Ralph Drollinger who was a former professional basketball player. He was the very first guy they put on the Dallas Mavericks when they became a team. The original Mavericks. A tall white guy. Ralph Drollinger, yeah. He played for the Supersonics. Like the 80s? 80s, 70s and 80s. He was drafted in 76 by the Celtics. First round pick by the New York Nets in 77. Played with the Supersonics, and he was the very first Dallas Maverick. Wow. And now he's a guy who says that COVID-19 is because of gays and environmentalists. Obviously. Thanks a lot, pound cake, you and your environmentalism. Getting us all sick. I'm sorry. My bad. The only reason he wanted to play for the Dallas... And he's been this way for a long time, despite being a professional athlete. He wanted to play for the Dallas Mavericks because in the offseason... He could go to some Jesus college down there, I guess. But this guy, Reverend Ralph Drollinger, is one of uh, Trump's inner Jesus people. And said that the uh, pandemic is upon us because of our proclivity toward lesbianism, homosexuality, and environmentalism. These are the people who, uh, behind the the scenes, by the way, who are like whispering in Trump's ear. Lesbianism and homosexuality is the same thing. Yeah, well, this guy doesn't know that. No, it isn't. It's very different. He also thinks taking care of the planet is a bad thing. Right. The planet that God made in his... Right. God made this planet... And for us to destroy it, For Bill, us to destroy it, okay. Obviously. All right. Animals are our, under our dominion. Hello. He's not talking about... That's not environmentalism. 
The trees. Everything. The oil, all that stuff. Get it. The pollution. God said, get your money, man. Pollution is the way you show love for Jesus, right? Yes. <laughs> is that what he's trying to say? Yes. Litter for the Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Litter for the Lord. It's the only way. Yeah. And yea, Jesus spoke unto him, bequeathing fracking upon the earth. <laughs> mm. Bequeathing is not real. Bequeathing is not a real it's thing. A hoax. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. Political hoax. Uh-huh. Mm. Go club some baby seals for Jesus. So I was fascinated by Ralph Drollinger. I just figured he's one of these Jesus dopes. I mean, he is, but... Right, but he's putting a new wrinkle on it. Like, it's one yeah, thing to blame... former professional basketball player. Well, f- former professional basketball player, that's not just blaming it on gays and, like, sin. He's taking environmentalism into it, and that's a whole... I've never heard that Oh, before. yeah, there are plenty of people that do that, too. Listen, I, I this that. is because people recycle, Bill. And if you recycle, you're part of the problem. You cause coronavirus. Yes. By recycling. Yes. The fumes that come out from recycling plants. I mean, in a way, coronavirus. that's a little true because you can't use those reusable bags right now. You have to get the plastic bags. See? By the way, I'd be more prone to believe a little bit of what any of these people say if they didn't keep ringing the same bells. It's always gays or mm-hmm. liberals or whatever. If one of them came out and said, this is punishment because God does not like... uh the state of Arizona. Or TikTok. Or t- <laughs> God yeah. doesn't like TikTok. God is punishing us over TikTok dances. Specifically the Kesha song, not the mm. app. Mm. He's really held on to that grudge <laughs> for a few years now. All right. Hey, I'm going to have MLB the show 20 for you for the PS4 in a little bit. Closest you'll get to baseball uh, in the near future. But you can watch Mary usher in... What would have been opening day at alancockshow.com. And if you want to text, 35192. And we'll be back after these. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio.